Regrettably, the subpoena was necessary. Uh, both Senator Grassley and I tried request letters, staff to staff contact. Uh, Senator Grassley was outright told he didn't have the authority, that he'd have to go to the chairman. Uh, they couldn't tell me that, so they simply told us nothing and the time ran out. Is that unusual for a federal agency to simply ignore to sitting members of Congress? It is, un it is not unprecedented, but it is somewhat unusual. Usually what you get is a partial response and then some sort of a, a, a vague, uh, not available, we'll keep working on it. Uh, they call them uh, you know, ro rolling discoveries and so on. And those kind of productions where you're getting bits and pieces bother you, but you accept them. But to get nothing and the deadline comes and goes is pretty rare. And how often have you had to, in your position as chairman, um, uh, see that the committee uh, resorts to a subpoena for that? It's only about half a dozen subpoenas we've issued, and several of them have been specifically requested by the entity so that they would be covered against litigation. Uh, or by the individual so that there wouldn't be any retaliation. Uh, and this is, this is really, I think it's only my second, where it's an entity refusing to deliver documents that we want that they don't want to give us. And what do you make of that? Well, there's two possibilities. Uh, one is that they don't know where their discovery is going, they don't know where their investigation is going, and they don't want us to have any idea until they can say we've handled it. The other one, quite frankly, is that they simply want us out so they can figure out how to pin the blame on. And this is one of the problems, is somebody obviously made a mistake, more than a few people knew about it, and yet we're still seeing, you know, nobody in the U.S. Attorney's Office, uh, you know, relieved or any other way suspended. And that bothers you when you know that people in agencies knew about it and didn't take action, and yet it doesn't seem like there's any outrage or urgency, that same individual theoretically could be approving some other misconduct that would cause Americans to lose their lives. How concerned are you about the allegations that have been raised by ATF agents that publicly uh, on CBS and elsewhere, uh, and, and these allegations that, that uh, this may have involved thousands of guns uh, at, at different points across the border? We're extremely concerned on three fronts. First of all, our relationship with the Mexican government has been deeply, deeply hurt. And we rely on trust. At least they're trusting us. Sometimes we say we don't trust their agents, but clearly they now can't trust ours. Secondly, the loss of American lives is, is, is clearly something that could have been avoided if this, this had not been so botched. And lastly, the failure to be forthcoming tells us that there may be more you know, incidents like this around the country over time. And whether it occurred on this president's watch or the previous president's watch, it can't continue. And uh, my last question is, how, uh, how likely, I mean, how confident do you feel that you're going to get answers that you are seeking? You know, the American people will eventually get answers, because certainly uh, I, I'm somebody who does not let go of the teeth once I get into it. But the delay causes me to believe that we're not getting the results, which is a change America deserves sooner.